Hi guys, so Qualcomm just announced Snapdragon 820. Let's go take a look. Let's go do this, baby. First, Snapdragon 820 will feature a 64-bit quad-core processor clocked at 2.2 gigahertz with Adreno 530 GPU and Hexagon 680 DSP. Qualcomm 810 had some heating issues in the beginning and it's a good thing Qualcomm is actually moving away from octa-core processors, which obviously they're not good at. Second, Snapdragon 820 will support Cat12 LT up to 600 megabits per second download link and Cat13 LT up to 150 megabits per second upload link. In other words, this is the first processor to support such high speeds and you'll be able to download and upload 4K videos without lag. Boom shakalaka, baby. All right, third, Snapdragon 820 will use the same 14 nanometer FinFET fabrication as the one found on the Galaxy Note 5's Exynos 7420 processor. Now this is really exciting. Now this 14 nanometer basically means more transistors can fit in a much smaller size chip. This also means that you can run higher frequencies with much less energy. Compared to this year's Snapdragon 810's 20 nanometer processor, you can expect much more performance while using much less energy. In other words, Snapdragon 820 will allow you to run your phone much faster and your battery will last longer. Hooray! Alright, this is evidence already by Note 5. Exynos 7420 with 14 nanometer fabrication. One of the reasons why its benchmarks are off the charts and the battery performance is also better than most. There are already N22 benchmarks of Snapdragon 820 prototypes with scores over 80,000. This will definitely be the fastest processor on the market if Qualcomm is able to successfully produce them. All right, fourth, Adreno 530 GPU will provide over 40% improvement in performance over the Adreno 430 on the 810 while also bringing down the power consumption by 40%. In other words, faster graphics, faster gaming performance while using less battery. Let me get more yay. Alright, fifth. The 820 will have Qualcomm Spectra Camera ISP which supports up to 14-bit camera sensors. In other words, the 820 will bring more details to your photos and videos with support for better camera sensors. Year 2016 is gonna be exciting. Sixth, Hexagon 680 DSP will offload tasks from the CPU that can be done faster or with less power. In other words, you'll save more battery life when doing things like taking a photo in low light or playing back MP3 music files. Overall, it looks very promising and we'll have to get hands on one. The company Xiaomi may be launching the first Android device with Snapdragon 820 this year dubbed My5. If they do, we'll be able to get hands on one this December. What are your thoughts? Do you think Qualcomm will be able to successfully launch the 820 without problems? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay... <laughs>